Previously on ThinkPad T60 Adventures This is an IBM or Lenovo ThinkPad T60 Yes, I installed Arch Linux There are some updates Well, actually I won't be installing them because I'll be getting rid of this Arch Linux The Windows 10 free upgrade program They extended the deadline to January 16, 2018 So I still have time to get a free Windows 10 upgrade The only product key I still have is one for Windows 8 Pro. The problem is, I hate Windows 8 and I would never voluntarily install it unless it is just temporarily so I can upgrade to Windows 10. I still can't believe I'm actually doing this out of my own free will. It doesn't even let me skip this, so I guess I have to enter the product key now. Thankfully, I have it. And here is the one partition where Arch Linux is. Of course, we have to format it as NTFS. But I'm just gonna delete it. I could have done a video about destroying Arch Linux, but... If you couldn't tell already, I got bored of destroying operating systems. My guess is that if you run sudo rm-rf slash on Arch Linux, when you reboot it will show something like some kind of error and then grub rescue. It used to be very exciting for me and I understand if it's still exciting for you, but I, I really don't like doing those kinds of videos anymore. So now the hard drive is totally empty and we're just gonna click next to install Windows 8. Microsoft expects everyone to have a widescreen monitor. So on a widescreen monitor, the picture would get stretched and the Windows logo would look normal. But on this screen, which actually is 1024 by 768, the Windows logo looks squished. But that's actually how Microsoft designed it. And if you think my hate for Windows 8 is not justified because you can just install classic shell, well done, you're just polishing a turd. Okay, install drivers for Wi-Fi so I can already connect. This computer's fan is a bit unsettling, if you can hear it. It sounds like it's grinding against something. But I'm not worried about it too much because after a while it just stops. So it means this computer is being cooled down enough. With uh, Arch Linux I could see how hot the CPU was getting and it wasn't getting above something like 50 degrees Celsius, so even though it looks like there's something wrong with the fan, it's not something dangerous, so until I take apart this computer to take a closer look, I can put up with it. The horror. So now we press start and we get this. It covers the entire screen as if I had the tablet. Okay, so let's boot it up. Let's see what drivers we have and don't have. Okay, it doesn't have the drivers for the fingerprint reader and I don't know what those devices are. It doesn't have the driver for the mouse either because even though the track point and trackpad work, if I hold down the middle button and move the track point it doesn't scroll, so it doesn't have those drivers. By the way, the combination 
trackpad and track point are called Ultranav. And let's see, has the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter instead of the proper ATI drivers. Well, I think we can upgrade right now. Okay, so we're gonna try downloading the Lenovo system update program. And let's also check if it's activated. So the stupid charms bar thing, PC info. And yes, it's activated. So Lenovo system update. Bing is fine for this. And it requires the .NET framework, but I think Windows 8 and newer can install it automatically for you. So that's one convenience. Oh, and the time is wrong too. I thought I had set the right time zone. 9.58 a.m. It's 6.58 p.m. actually. Yep, wrong time zone. I don't remember seeing the prompt for it. If there was one, I must have skipped it by accident. Okay, now it's correct, but I'm gonna sync it with the server anyway. Okay, so Lenovo system update for Windows 7 and newer. Well, so far it actually ran pretty well here. Okay, I know it requires .NET framework, but why did it not prompt me to install it? I'm actually surprised. It, it is running pretty fast, actually. Okay, save this just just in case I want to back it up and use it again. Okay, now, now I'm gonna try installing .NET Framework and the Lenovo system update. Your installation will not occur. See below for reasons why. Microsoft.NET Framework 4 is already a part of this operating system. So why couldn't I install the Lenovo system update? Well, don't tell me 4.5 and 4.0 are treated as completely different things. I really should have delved more in that Hackintosh thing because I don't like Linux too much and Windows has these kinds of problems. And there you go, a totally different file. Okay, this one let's see if it works holy crap it worked so and i've also started checking for updates but i doubt it's gonna finish anytime soon so we're just gonna install the driver so everything works properly and then we'll begin upgrading and the volume is a little weird because it has volume buttons here on the keyboard but they adjust the volume independently from the Windows volume, so you could have the Windows volume at the max all the time. And then turn it down or mute it using the buttons on the keyboard. Okay, so where is the new Lenovo update app? We have to go here. It has the new Lenovo logo. I'm going to say no because I don't want to let them know I'm using Windows 8. I'm really ashamed of this. If it asks me again when I have Windows 10, I, I think I'll say yes. Click next to get new updates. And by the way, I think Windows 8 is the last version that is supported on this um, ThinkPad T60. So even if I did a clean installation of Windows 10, which I will definitely do when I install Solid State Drive, and it will activate because of the digital entitlement license that I'm trying to get now. The Windows 8, 8 or 8.1, they're the same thing. Drivers should work just fine on Windows 10 and there are no Windows 10 specific drivers. It only has the update for the Ultranav. Let's install that because I need that to scroll. See, the fan just stopped spinning even though it was making this slightly weird sound, so it is working and it is cooling down the system. Let's 
see if scrolling with the track point and the middle mouse button works now when the Internet Explorer homepage loads. Okay, works, great. It didn't find drivers for the fingerprint reader and the video card, but... Oh, great, msn.com is not responding. <sighs> I'm gonna enable the assistive technologies I mentioned before, so... I have to get to the accessibility settings. Oh yeah, I forgot it's called ease of access in Windows. Always scan this section. Okay, sound sentry, flash desktop, and the other one, toggle keys. There it is. Always scan this section. Okay, so now if I turn on caps lock, it makes this sound and makes the desktop blink once. Same for turning it off. And you can have fun like that. Okay, let's get ready to upgrade. Customers who use assistive technologies can upgrade to Windows 10 at no cost. Please take advantage of this offer before it expires on January 16, 2018. Yes, I use assistive technology and I'm ready for my upgrade to Windows 10. Do it. Now. Do you want to run or save that? Well, let's save it even though I will only need it once. What assistive technologies are eligible? Anything. So, let's do it. Accept. Now well, tell me it's... Oh, thankfully it's compatible. Starting download in 3, 2, 1. And now we have to wait. It's easy to go back if you don't like it. Oh, don't worry, I will. I'm not a big fan of Windows 10, but it's way, way better than Windows 8. This thing is surely taking its sweet time. I started the upgrade at like 7 p.m. Now almost three hours later and it's still getting your upgrade ready. I think this screen is actually the full screen that is blue and says install in Windows 10. And then it automatically restarts. But here it's not full screen and, and it still lets me use the computer. And in Task Manager, the program that's using the most uh, system resources is Modern Setup Host. So even though it's really slow, I'm guessing it's still going. And finally, after more than three hours of preparing, it says that the upgrade is ready and it's gonna restart automatically in half an hour. But I'm gonna restart now because I can't wait to get rid of Windows 8. Look how squished that text is, my god. And not all widescreen monitors stretch non-widescreen images anyway. For example, I have a an HP X22 LED 1080p monitor and it has a setting to stretch non-widescreen resolutions or not. And I set it not to stretch them. So text would look squished like this on that kind of monitors too. Or you could say that this is a, a condensed font. It seems to be going pretty fast actually, but it might slow down later. Okay, so now we've got Edge. I've never seen this before though. Just get started. Okay, that, 
this works. Thank you for updating to the latest version of Windows 10. Okay, now it's gonna look for the display driver because it still had the Microsoft Basic video driver. Let's see if it's still activated. And there you go, it's still activated. Let's change the color from that horrible yellow from Windows 8. And it seems it has drivers for everything, even the fingerprint reader. So now we should see the Windows Hello thing in the settings app. Windows Hello is just a marketing term for logging in with your fingerprint or face recognition, that kind of stuff. And there you go, Windows Hello. Not even my newest computer has it, so that's cool. So for now we're done with this computer. We got Windows 10 on it. And that's great. Thank you for watching.